So in this video, we're going to review Combin 2, which according to Combin, is a smart tool for skyrocketing your Instagram marketing. So does it work? Is it worth the money? And will it get you banned off Instagram? Now, a quick question for you. How many followers do you think you need on Instagram? Please leave a comment in the comment box below. I'd love to know. And I'll tell you at the end of the video how many followers initially I think you should have if you're into internet marketing. Okay, let's handle the big question first. Can my Instagram account be banned because of Combin? Well, according to Combin, the main reasons why an Instagram account can be blocked are use of bots and abuse of Instagram activity limit. Now, Combin mimics a human. It works from a desktop and it only operates within Instagram's limits. So provided you don't spam accounts and you don't use it aggressively, you shouldn't have any issues. You can see within the application itself, there are three settings. You can set it the intensity for optimal, which is default, safe, which is slow, and risky, which means that it's working outside the parameters that Instagram set. Tasks are done in parallel and you can see here that we've got several tasks going on where we're unfollowing some users who have unfollowed us or haven't followed us back within a certain period of time and we're also following users that we've targeted and in the next video we're going to show our method for getting targeted and active users using Combin and some of its features. Okay, so let's have a look at one of the features, which is the ability to identify who's unfollowed us and who we need to follow because they've followed us. And when we look at the screen here, these are all the accounts that we are following, but who are not following us back. Now, our method is to follow users, and like a lot of people, give them time to follow us back. And if they don't follow us back, then we unfollow them because we don't want to clog up our account with people who are not reciprocate, reciprocating. So the cutoff point for us at the moment is the 17th of April. That, and then tomorrow will be the 18th of April. So these four accounts here have at one time followed us, but have chosen now to unfollow us. This one in particular, 23rd of April, was someone who's definitely just followed us with the intention of unfollowing us. So we can just select these four accounts and then just tap in and follow. And that will then be queued in the tasks. At the bottom, unfollow four users. You can see there that we queued up 288 users earlier on today, which is now being progressed. Okay, the next screen is followers and who we are not following. You can see if we go to following, this is everybody that we're following, but this screen here is not following. Now, at the moment, we haven't got anybody that we're not following, but if we did, they'd show up here. And typically, you'll get this when you're posting yourself. You might find people who found you, and you may find six, seven, eight people that you need to follow. You can select them all, click follow at the bottom, and they'll get queued in the normal way. Okay, so next is the search facility, and this is where Combin really excels. You can either search on posts or on users. Posts, you would put a hashtag in, whatever, it's, whatever niche that you're looking for. You can even narrow it down to a place, so it could be New York, Manchester, London, wherever you want to look. You can look at um, when that post was posted, any time, last two weeks, yesterday, how many you want to bring back up to a thousand, whether that post has got likes, how many likes, whether it's got comments, how many likes, how many comments rather. And then this advanced filter, you can even put in gender or language. It does default to everything, which I find annoying, but there, you can select English. And here, whether a user has been active during the last week, okay? Users, here you can select a certain user and then look for the followers of that user. And then you can also select commenters, um, likers. 
and um, again you have the same advanced search features as well okay so a quick example we're going to look at the hashtag golf and we're going to ask it to uh, post at any time we're just going to leave it at 50 to get it quick um, and we're going to say that the user had to be active in the last week okay so we'll select that you can see that that's working and what i would advise you do when you're when you're bringing up searches is to run several in parallel run them for a thousand and just leave them running in the background and then you can come and look at which ones you want to follow from those users so they're coming back and you can see immediately on each one it's showing you how many followers they've got uh, whether they're male or female and uh, well, it's not showing actually on the screen but on some searches it does show you whether they're male or female um, and also a little preview of the post itself but underneath you can see the likes and the comments you can right click you can show on instagram or you can copy the url or even the cap even the, the caption okay if you decided if you were just looking for followers here you could just work through and you could just select a number and then you could either like uh, comment or follow and the interesting thing about commenting is you can actually preset up a variety of comments and you can ask the tool to comment randomly or you, you can just pick from predetermined comments when you're uh, when you're selecting one that you want to comment on. okay so once you do that you can just hit that follow and that will go into tasks as well actually i'm not following anyone because i'm not looking in the golf niche although i do play golf myself okay so i want to show you filters so on this golf search we can start filtering out posts from people that we've unfollowed or we're following or followers because we're looking for new users or or old results and then we can search by the amount of likes comments or followers so this one at the top there 2.3 followers and then it's coming down in order okay so that gives you the ability to really set up a campaign in the style that you wish to run it and how aggressive you wish to run it. Our own preference is that we're looking for active targeted followers and in the next video we're going to show you exactly how we set that up. But you have the ability here to choose individual ones or a selection of users in, in a couple of clicks. You know, we might just want those. We could choose to like or comment on those or we could choose to follow them. So the tool from that point of view is very, very functionally rich. So you can see the stats there and you can look at the daily activity that's been going on. So we've had 666 individual actions which have been happening. So one of the things I think is worth pointing out with Combin, it's not a fire and forget tool. You do need to perform a number of actions and a number of searches to decide on how you're going to use the tool. And I approve of that because I think just blindly looking for followers is not going to get you anywhere. What you're looking for is the right kind of followers. People are active. People are in the niche that you're looking for. So our verdict is 9.1. We think it's a very effective tool. It's got good value for money. Uh, maybe it could be a little bit easier to use, but I think Conmen are working hard on that. I'll leave a link to our review in the comments section. There is a button there to get your free trial, which basically takes you over for the free trial that you can get. And also available on this page is a coupon code that will get you a 50% discount off your first payment. So even if you're going for the multi-account version, you'll still get 50% off, off your first payment as well as your free trial. So essentially, really, I think you've got nothing to lose. You can try it. You don't have to pay a penny. You don't have to give a credit card out. Give it a go. See what you think. If it's for you, use it. Obviously, if it's not, don't. So I asked you at the beginning of the video how many followers you think you need. 
In my opinion, you need 10,000. And the reason for that is when you get 10,000, you get the swipe up functionality within Instagram. At the moment, you can only, if you've got less than 10,000, you can only have one link and that link is in your bio. But once you get 10,000, you can start asking users to swipe up to get links and you can then start doing proper serious internet marketing. Okay, hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss anything. Have a look on our site. If you're watching this on our site, please subscribe to our YouTube video.